While the clergy sexual abuse scandal in the Diocese of Buffalo exploded on his watch, Buffalo Bishop Richard Malone has claimed to be different from the bishops before him who covered up the abuse. That's a situation I have inherited. Well, of course, this all predates my arrival in the, in the diocese. I don't know all those details. We have been going about this whole thing when, a, you know, when, a, when an allegation comes in in an entirely different way than it was done in, in decades past. But hundreds of internal church documents obtained by 7 Eyewitness News show that in the case of one priest, Bishop Malone not only returned that priest to ministry after a previous bishop removed him, but ignored three new allegations against that priest, misled others about that priest's history, and repeatedly put him around young people, despite clear warnings from parents. The 7 Eyewitness News I-Team has produced dozens of stories on the more than 80 priests and nuns who have been accused of sexual misconduct in the last six months. The stories have given voice to victims, but they've also exposed a pattern of how the Catholic Church in Buffalo treats allegations of sexual abuse. In 2011, Father Art Smith caused a controversy at St. Mary of the Lake School in Hamburg when he sent a Facebook message using the words, love you, to an eighth grade boy. The boy's mother, along with St. Mary's principal, Christine Heider, took their concerns to the diocese, saying in an internal memo that Smith was known by students as the creeper and showed signs of grooming and stalking the young boy. Heider, the principal, wanted him gone from the school and met with Auxiliary Bishop Edward Grosch, who today plays a key role in the church's response to the abuse crisis. Heider said Grosch got up from his seat and said of Father Smith, quote, I thought he was better. Edward Kimmick, who was Bishop of Buffalo during that time, suspended Smith from the parish, announcing that Smith was taking a medical leave. But according to the principal, Father Smith refused to stay away from the school, showing up outside a classroom in March 2012. The principal fired off a letter to the diocese saying, This man is a predator and a groomer of young children. Something needs to be done. As school principal, I feel the students in grade 8 have been injured and troubled by the actions of this man more than originally thought. But if Smith's career looked to be in jeopardy then, it would soon get a resurrection with the arrival of a new bishop in Buffalo in August 2012. Tonight, Buffalo officially has a new Catholic bishop. Bishop Malone is now the 14th Catholic bishop of Buffalo. Father Art Smith began making inroads with new bishop Richard Malone immediately, writing him a letter from a church-run treatment center for priests in Philadelphia, where the Buffalo Diocese sent him for rehabilitation after the incident with the eighth grade boy. I would like to attend your installation as my new bishop, Smith wrote, requesting a meeting with Malone to talk about, quote, the progress I have made and the skills I am learning. Later, in a diocesan communication obtained by the I-Team, Smith described the Facebook contact with the student as, quote, inappropriate, but said he honestly believed it to be innocent and friendly. Diocesan attorney Terry Connors wrote that, quote, Father Art is minimizing the Facebook incident. But in November 2012, Bishop Malone returned Smith to ministry and what he would describe as a, quote, lower-profile position as chaplain of Brothers of Mercy Nursing Home in Clarence. Smith wrote to Bishop Malone a month later, saying, Thank you kindly for redeeming me and giving some life back to me. In 2013, Smith heard confessions at the diocese's annual Catholic Youth Conference at the Adams Mark Hotel, which left Hyder, the principal at St. Mary's, incredulous. In two letters to Bishop Malone, she wrote, if a teacher would have been grooming children and had inappropriate relations with a minor, they would have been fired and lost their license to teach. Yet a priest that has a history of inappropriate contact with the youth was among the youth ministering the sacrament of reconciliation. Malone wrote back to her and stressed that he assigned Smith to Brothers of Mercy because it was a, quote, lower profile position in the diocese. And because the incident with the eighth grader was not technically a violation, of the American bishop's zero-tolerance policy adopted in 2002. But if Bishop Malone thought that Father Art Smith could do no harm to young people at a nursing home for the elderly, he would be proven wrong yet again. In October 2013, the regional superior of the Brothers of Mercy wrote to Bishop Malone to report that Smith had somehow found two young men at the nursing home and had inappropriately touched them both. One man, aged 19, worked in the dietary department and reported inappropriate remarks and touching. The other, a 25-year-old seminarian, reported inappropriate touching in the sacristy after Mass. We were willing to take a chance with Father Art, the superior of the Brothers of Mercy wrote to Bishop Malone, but due to his inappropriate conduct with employees, we must terminate Father Smith's work on our campus.
At that point, the bishop pushed Smith to go back to the treatment center in Philadelphia, but records show he initially refused. Just get rid of me, Smith wrote to the bishop in an email obtained by the I-team. Destroy me. I will not subject myself to that torture again. Privately, the bishop wrote to his advisors, This response shows the depth and gravity of Art's issues. If we cannot convince Art to go to St. John Vianney, the treatment center, he will be placed on the list of unassignable priests. Meanwhile, Father Smith in August 2014 wrote a letter to Pope Francis, where he cast himself as a victim and again said he served for 42 years without incident. My canon lawyer says that there is absolutely no foundation for the way the church has treated me, he wrote to the Holy Father. Later, in an email to one of Malone's aides, he mentioned that he has retained both civil and canon lawyers and wrote, they know I was done a severe injustice. Documents show Bishop Malone asked Smith to honor their gentleman's agreement that he not wear clerical garb, offer sacraments, or say mass publicly. When the sexual abuse crisis exploded in Buffalo earlier this year, Malone said the protocol on abusive priests was clear. And sometimes in the past, and we know this is a mistake now, they would, the verdict would be they can return to ministry. You know, We would never do that now. What he didn't say then is that in May 2015, despite documented allegations of Smith's behavior, documents show he met with the embattled priest to discuss the possibility of beginning to reintegrate your priestly ministry in the Diocese of Buffalo. Despite the priest's history, Malone granted Smith permission to administer the Eucharist and to hear confessions. In another letter, he offered him, My gratitude for your service to our diocese, as you assess various priests and local parishes. Meanwhile, Smith's letter to Rome had worked its way through the Vatican, which wanted an explanation from Bishop Malone. In a 2015 letter to the Vatican's investigative agency, Bishop Malone was on the defensive, saying he had good reason to hold Smith from ministry because of Smith's grooming of the young boy and the fact that he checked himself out of the treatment center after only a day. Under my watch as diocesan bishop, Malone wrote, contrary to what Father Smith stated in his letter, he once again faced boundary issues. He mentioned the eighth grader from Hamburg and the two men Smith reportedly touched at Brothers of Mercy. Then the bishop revealed two more encounters by Smith that were never made public. A 2004 incident at a city parish where Father Art seemed to groom a seminarian to get his affection. And a 2013 incident at Millard Fillmore Suburban Hospital, in which a 30-year-old male patient complained that Smith was caressing his forearm. Of the 2004 incident, the bishop wrote, One night the seminarian recounted an incident where Father Art came to his room, came into his bed, and began to touch his genitalia. Then, after telling the Vatican why Father Smith appeared to be so dangerous, Bishop Malone inexplicably ended the letter by saying, on the basis of his cooperation in regard to regular counseling, I have granted Father Smith faculties to function as a priest in the Diocese of Buffalo. Despite what he said to the Vatican about Smith's long history, just two months earlier, Bishop Malone wrote Smith a glowing letter of recommendation to the Apostleship of the Sea Cruise Service, endorsing Smith to be a chaplain aboard a cruise. The bishop made no mention of Smith's history in writing, quote, he is a person of good moral character and reputation. I know nothing which would in any way limit or disqualify him from this ministry. I am unaware of anything in his background which would render him unsuitable to work with minor children. Bishop Malone then wrote the same letter of recommendation the following year. Last year, after five years of tumult that included three new allegations of sexual misconduct, Bishop Malone granted Father Art Smith his wish of returning to a parish. Diocesan records show the bishop assigned Smith to Blessed Mother Teresa Parish in Depew, where he lives to this day, even after being suspended last month, when yet another allegation of sexual misconduct was reported to the diocese and substantiated. We've learned that officials on a cruise ship this summer arranged for Father Smith to be removed from that ship when they read our news stories about Smith's recent suspension. But back home in the Diocese of Buffalo, Smith's bedroom is located next door to an old Catholic elementary school, which now houses a preschool. It's directly across the street from the Depew-Lancaster Boys and Girls Club.